Hi, it's Bart here with another one of those fun bar chats telling you the inside scoop on the films that we're going to be showing at this year's uh, 24th video festival. And uh, so it's I'm the guy who's seen everything. I can tell you a little bit about the stuff that you want to see. And one of the things that you want to see, the film that I want to talk about tonight, it's called The Other F Word. So what is the first F word that the other F word is talking about, and I think that's probably fem feminism. And we have a film called Women, Art, and Revolution that deals with feminism and art, but this is not at all what this is about. This film deals with fatherhood. That's the other F. And, you know, fatherhood, oh, so what's the big deal? There are a lot of films about fatherhood. But this film deals with um, punk rockers um, who were fathers. And that makes it really kind of interesting. I mean, the whole kind of world of punk rock was designed and built to not last. I mean, it's the ultimate hope I die before I get old. I mean, uh, tattoos and uh, piercings and uh, all kinds of things are not the greatest things when you're going to pick up your kid from private school or trying to get in that fancy private school. How does this, the world change as a punk rocker uh, in your music and in your life and in your ability to tour um, when you have a family and that family has a kind of crucial role and what kind of role do you want to have as a parent if you're supposed to be out on the road that's really a problem the film focuses on uh, lots of different people it's a great variety of people and believe me they look all kinds of strange kind of ways and if you're definitely into um, punk rock, particularly West Coast punk rock, you'll recognize all these people. But uh, it really focuses on a lead singer from Pennywise who um, has a bunch of girls and really wants to be home and is having a difficult time balancing these two kind of um, universes, particularly this, this sense of, you know, the language, the culture that your job is, is so not about parenting. And uh, how do you reconcile this tension is what fuels the film. The film is also really beautifully produced. It's a great documentary, very enjoyable, and uh, one that I know that everybody who comes to is definitely going to uh, appreciate and really like. Something you probably won't get another chance to see. Although maybe, I don't know, maybe it'll get picked up. But just to be sure, you're going to want to come and see it at the Video Fest. So, and I believe that is, well, it's going to be super right here, right where, there. So that's going to tell you where it is, because at this moment, I don't know. So um, come and see the other F word and all the other programs we have at the Video Fest. And I um, hope you have a good time and uh, come and say hello when you're there. Bye. Hi, it's Bart here with another one of those fun bar chats telling you the inside scoop on the films that we're going to be showing at this year's uh, 24th video festival. And uh, so it's I'm the guy who's seen everything. I can tell you a little bit about the stuff that you want to see. And one of the things that you want to see, the film that I want to talk about tonight, it's called The Other F Word. So what is the first F word that the other F word is talking about, and I think that's probably fem feminism. And we have a film called Women, Art, and Revolution that deals with feminism and art, but this is not at all what this is about. This film deals with fatherhood. That's the other F. And, you know, fatherhood, oh, so what's the big deal? There are a lot of films about fatherhood. But this film deals with um, punk rockers um, who were fathers. And that makes it really kind of interesting. I mean, the whole kind of world of punk rock was designed and built to not last. I mean, it's the ultimate hope I die before I get old. I mean, uh, tattoos and uh, piercings and uh, all kinds of things are not the greatest things when you're going to pick up your kid from private school or trying to get in that fancy private school. How does this, the world change as a punk rocker uh, in your music and in your life and in your ability to tour um, when you have a family and that family has a kind of crucial role and what kind of role do you want to have as a parent 
if you're supposed to be out on the road that's really a problem. The film focuses on uh, lots of different people. It's a great variety of people and believe me they look all kinds of strange kind of ways and if you're definitely into um, punk rock, particularly West Coast punk rock, you'll recognize all these people. But uh, it really focuses on a lead singer from Pennywise who um, has a bunch of girls and really wants to be home and is having a difficult time balancing these two kind of um, universes, particularly this this sense of, you know, the language, the culture that your job is, is so not about parenting. And uh, how do you reconcile this tension is what fuels the film. The film is also really beautifully produced. It's a great documentary, very enjoyable, and uh, one that I know that everybody who comes to is definitely going to uh, appreciate and really like. Something you probably won't get another chance to see. Although maybe, I don't know, maybe it'll get picked up. But just to be sure, you're going to want to come and see it at the Video Fest. So, and I believe that is, well, it's going to be super right here, right where, there. So that's going to tell you where it is, because at this moment, I don't know. So um, come and see the other F Word and all the other programs we have at the Video Fest. And I um, hope you have a good time, and uh, come and say hello when you're there. Bye. Hi, this is Bart, again, talking to you about some of the things that we have at this year's Video Fest. Today I'm going to talk about two workshops that we have on Sunday morning. These will be, by the way, at Hyenas Comedy Club, um, which is a pretty large place. We can handle a lot of people. Um, and these two programs we have are giving filmmakers an opportunity to get a sense of technologies that are here that most people aren't really working with. And uh, this kind of ties back to the uh, days in the video festival when we brought you new technologies that people hadn't heard of, like virtual reality, um, and then working in something called high definition, which we did in 1988. Um, CD-ROMs, DVDs, all the kind of technologies that people have sort of gone through or are still going through. We showed you not only how to work with them, but how artists can work with them and what their potential is for uh, reaching audiences in new and different kind of ways. So there are two workshops that we have that are going to help you think about the way in which you can communicate with video. The first one is uh, something called transmedia. And you might think, what is transmedia? For, for a lot of people in the media business, transmedia has been kind of a big buzzword, certainly in New York, um, uh, Tribeca Film Festival has done an awful lot about this. Uh, people at Sundance have done some stuff, some people at the AFI. And there are a lot of people who have sort of been talking about this for a long time. And it's how, really basically, how the internet and film kind of work together. And how different elements can kind of work together, both having a film and also having the kind of interactivity that's built in, not as kind of something that's thought about later on. And um, as we get all kinds of mobile devices uh, going along with this, and uh, connectivity is going to be with us all along, um, there are going to be new different kinds of ways in which transmedia is going to make the ability, particularly with documentaries and social issue documentaries, and how uh, you know cloud people kind of doing things together, shaping material, finding stories, and adding to stories, how that's going to work. Now, instead of me ranting on about it, um, I got an expert named Nick DiMartino. Many years ago, I took a workshop with Nick when he was working at the American Film Institute, and he was running their new technology area and uh, taught us very early how the internet and film could work together. And the things that I learned in that workshop have really influenced my work in very profound ways. Nick knows what's going on. He's been following this stuff for a long time and he's a really engaging speaker. Um, we're bringing him in and I think all of you would really um, enjoy hearing what he has to say and I think it will definitely change the idea about how you think media could be done. So that's the, um, actually it's the second one, but it's the first one I'm telling you about. The first workshop is about uh, learning how to produce for this, or this. This is the iPad, and I would show you 
what they're doing, but it doesn't show up very well here. So, um, so we've got uh, these folks from Moonbot, uh, which are in Louisiana, and uh, Brandon Oldenburg, who used to be here in town at uh, Real Effects. And the first project they worked on for the iPad is a children's book that really kind of takes the best thing that a book does and the best thing that animation does and ties them together and really works with the way um, a child thinks about story, storytelling, interactivity, curiosity, and it really embellishes the story in a very profound way. I think this is a real role model for how um, kids' books and animation can kind of work together. I think um, um, not only um, sort of seeing them and seeing them talk about what's in there, how they went about it, how they thought about it, and uh, what it's been happening to them, I think it's going to be a really great thing and I think something you're going to want to see. The second project they did really kind of rethinks what a music video could be. And so they took the new record from Polyphonic Spree um, and they reworked it for interactive video for the iPad. So we know that people will be producing for the small screen and the medium sized screen, which is the iPad. And how is it that what you do for these environments is going to be drastically different than what you do for television and feature films? Um, these workshops that we're doing are really going to help you as an audience understand, appreciate, and look for these new things when they're coming about. And for people who are in the film business or want to be in the film business, an opportunity to see what it is so you can get on the bandwagon before it rolls over you if you're not moving in some of these directions. So I really hope you'll come and uh, take advantage of these great opportunities. I know that when you come, you'll be able to talk about this to your friends, about things that you've seen and how you've gotten a glimpse into the future at the Video Fest.